Welcome back. This is Backstage in Arizona. With me is Mike Waldrop and Tito Bombacci uh, and from Catch-22. So, Mike, let's start out with you. Okay. Your music is different. You are trying to become a successful band. Catch-22 has right. been playing all around Arizona, and uh, you're going to be releasing some albums soon? Uh, that's kind of a... Right now, that's a tough question because it's, we got some other things in store for us. We're not really sure if that's, you know... Well, Tito, you being the manager, it. would you like to comment yeah, probably on have this one It's a special on. band, and what we're doing with them is a different approach towards marketing in uh, the record company angle, as opposed to releasing their own record now. We feel we may need the support of a larger organization. And this is a band that does have the qualities to Pretty get so, that far. Yeah, yeah. So you're also in another band, and I wanted to mention this. Yeah. Dave Pratt from KUPD, right. and uh, it's a Sex Machine it, it, band. It's it's a fun thing. It's a fun thing to do. You know? Are, is the music similar? Or no, it's not at all. It's uh, two different worlds. It's our, it's our joke side. It's kind of the alter ego, whatever however you want to call it. It's it's. Uh, we, we're serious as Catch-22. We write a lot of serious material, and we like to be, you know, we project more emotions. With Dave Pratt, it's, it's just more fun. It's just a, a lot more fun. It's, uh, we write joke songs. Uh, we have, the latest one we have is Minimum Wage. It's just, you know, fun things for, for the kids in Phoenix, you know. Which do you, I mean, do you think there's going to be a future recording with uh, Sex Machine? Well, we record. Uh, we, we've done about four. We've had, you know, uh, about four songs on the radio, four, four or five, on KUPD's morning show. And uh, it's... It's fun. It's, it's, that's all there is to it. Our thing, we've had one, one song of our own, of Catch-22 on the radio, from KUPD, you know, from Dave Pratt knowing us and stuff. So we're, we're more serious about Catch-22. That's what we're worried about, is getting us, because it's just, a, it's more national. It's more uh, right. what we're after. How is it working? You're a writer, and you have another writer in two, there? Yeah, two, and, and we're, it's, it's like Lennon and, and McCartney. They, uh, you have to learn how to work together. There's a lot of, you know, you can't get too big-headed because you've always got somebody to compete with kind of it's good good healthy competition you know that, that I have with uh, with Steve it's real good and uh, we keep each other in line and whenever he writes something incredible or something I'm I'm back in the room working at something so it keeps us it keeps us ticking the two the two writers it really does I don't feel I'd be uh, half really the half the musician I am without having somebody else in the band who can write to Tito what makes a band like Catch-22 sellable on, on radio well, we're talking about a group of young kids that are got the maturity of their writing style, both the lyrics and the music of people like Paul McCartney at his age now. They are writing songs that are current, they are popular to anyone's ear, and they've got vocals that are outstanding. We love to write. It's we one really of the reasons writing. we really like them, and one of the reasons that they were selected by Dave Pratt to be the Sex Machine Band is because of their vocals and their musicianship. But we need to make uh, a point here that they're two totally different acts. Definitely. It's almost like having a, a, a night job or something. Uh -huh. The Catch-22 is its own thing, uh -huh. its own entity. So how does your band bring out and make radio come alive? Uh, well, I, I think that right now in, in music, MT, with MTV, uh, the big thing that's hitting is act is an act. Everything is, is looking, and by doing that, you're, we're taking away from a lot of the emotions of, of music on the radio. And there still is car radio. There's always going to be a right. car radio. And people still want to hear feeling in music. And I, I see, I hear a lot of that feeling kind of, kind of going. It's kind of, uh, it's not as strong as it used to be. And I, I would like to bring some, some power back, you know, in, into radio. So what are the people that influenced your style? Oh, definitely the Beatles, probably probably number one. I love the Beatles, and uh, I got into McCartney and Lennon when they broke up, and uh, I liked a band called Electric Light Orchestra. They were, they were real good, and these bands I'm talking about are big pop bands. They've had, you know, songs on the radio since day one. You know, ELO's got two greatest hits albums, and if I'm correct, and if I like their music, and if it comes through me, I should have my our music should be catchy in, in the same way. If that's you know who my influences are. How do you plan to promote the group uh, and, you know, let people know that they're around other than this show and the radio spots? Well, like I said before, it's a special band and what you were both talking about with the radio and the video thing, I think the band is uh, serious enough and has enough talent to succeed in both mediums, in both the visual aspect and we want them to be as important and have as much impact off the radio. Yeah. And like in shopping malls where you really can't see a video, we want the band to have, and we feel they do, 
have the potential to be as strong in both mediums yeah. as opposed to specializing in one like he was saying some of them are basically video acts which mm -hmm. is important and in this case we've got as you can see in that picture you're going to hold up in a little while yeah, I'll show hold it up right all, now How's that? <laughs> they've all got a, a certain look about them and they've all got a certain charisma and a, a sense of seriousness about the business and we feel good together we, we we don't have any problems as a team you know that's the I, from what I've heard from other musicians and uh, from older people they tell me that it, it just staying together is one of the one of the key things to making it is just working learn, learning how to work with other people well thank you for being a part of the show sure. Tito we're going to be man. doing some work together and help you're going to help produce the show in the future and <laughs> thank like you to. all for being a part of the show sure. we'll be back thank right you. after this <laughs>